Hey Shibi Doodlers, I'm going to show you how to draw a cake, a, a heart cake, kind of a, a Valentine's special cake. So if you draw a heart very gently, um, then it's going to have kind of chocolate chips or currants or something like that in it. And the reason I've drawn it in pencil is because then you can draw some of these bits kind of over the edge of the line like that. And these are all sort of crunchy bits of chalk chip or whatever. And then you can make this line a little bit crumbly like that. Because a cake is never quite a perfect straight line, is it? So we've got this nice crumbly line like that. Now what you need to do is to draw a line coming down there. So it's kind of like a cupcake. And this is the cupcake um, casing, that's the word I'm looking for. And then that's going to be slightly curved there as well. And then we're going to want these lines. Actually, to draw that one coming straight down. And that would be straight down the middle of it. So we can get the angles by doing this. And then you just kind of split those lines and that gives us all the angles in the right places. And then we can just split there. But don't go all the way to the bottom because the cupcake thing is kind of folded up like that. When you're sure the ink is dry, you can erase the pencil lines. And I'm going to put loads and loads and loads and loads of dots on the top of this to give it some cakey texture. And while I'm doing this, why don't you click that like button uh, because it really does help the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel if you do uh, like this video. And if you're not, why don't you subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy? And then you'll always get to know what videos I'm doing every Monday and Thursday. And I know I started doing some on Saturdays as well, much, much easier ones. And why don't you, uh, <laughs> if you're going to draw this, why don't you send a copy of it to me? and uh, follow the links to my monthly drawing competition where you can win a copy of my book, Everyone Can Draw. Now that's all kind of covered, so I'm going to make it a little bit darker on this side by putting some more dots in all around here. And this is a, a shading technique called stippling. So it gives it a, a, a kind of a texture, it gives it a cakey kind of texture, but then by putting more dots in on this side, it also gives it uh, a shade so it kind of makes it look darker on this side and it's very very boring <laughs> but uh, if you take your time and just put lots and lots and lots of dots in it gives that really good kind of 3d effect we can maybe put some in up there too and I think we can put some in to shade in around the the little chocolate chip bits or well, they might be blueberries and then you're going to want to shade in your chocolate chip bits and I'm going to draw them quite darkly on one side but then kind of leaving a little bit of light up at the top as, as to make them kind of look shiny like that. So it's kind of very close, uh, close together kind of scribbling really, isn't it? <laughs> Hatching is the proper word. And then we're probably going to get a bit of shadow underneath here. So I'm just going to draw that shadow in down there. And we'll maybe have a bit of shadow in down there. And then we can put it on the table like that. And we can draw some shadow all the way around it to put it on the table. And maybe you could cross hatch. If you, if you draw it once, that's hatching. Draw it twice, that's cross hatching because you're crossing over the hatching. And you can do it three times as well in a completely different direction as well if you like, just to make it look even darker. And you can even go up and down <laughs> to make it look darker still. And there you go. How to draw a heart-shaped muffin.